welcome back to Too Cool for Middle School. We're actually not going to be talking that much about teaching middle school today because we are having a funeral for my beauty products. This is kind of an empties video, but um, at the same time, it's like a beauty recommendation video. Um, a couple years ago, when I kind of started getting into YouTube, more like, you know, like watching YouTube, um, I became aware of all these amazing products I hadn't even heard of. That's the great thing about YouTube, makes you spend a ton of money on all this cool stuff you didn't even know you didn't have. So um, now that I'm pregnant, I'm about to have a baby, I haven't been spending so much money on like beauty stuff because I feel too guilty. So some of these things I have loved, but I feel like I'm probably not going to buy again anytime soon. But I can recommend them to you in case you are looking for something along these lines so in this bag I just have like some of my favorite things that I'm feeling sad to let go of but let, let's honor them one more time okay so first of all I have this Kenra volume spray this is hairspray um, Kate from the small things blog always recommends this it's a fabulous hairspray the only thing I don't love is that it tends to get clogged in the nozzle right here and you have to like pick it out it's kind of annoying but it smells really nice and works really well. This is like a super hold finishing spray. So it's a great one to just do all over after you've done your hair or haven't really done your hair like me. <laughs> um, but it's really good, a little bit expensive. I think I got it at Ulta. Another nice product is this Origins Clear Improvements Active Charcoal Mask. And I actually did repurchase this again because um, it's sold on Birchbox and I had some Birchbox points. But um, it's a little bit pricier mask than like a drugstore. It's, a, it's actually not that bad uh, price-wise. But it works really well. It doesn't dry out your skin, but it does kind of unclog your pores. So I highly recommend this. I've got a couple of Origins things, so let's just go through all of them. Um, here's another Origins toner. This one's called Zero Oil. I do have oily skin. This worked really well on my skin. It has like mint in it. It feels super refreshing. It's so nice to use in the morning, especially. Little expensive, so I think I'll probably be going with a cheaper one since this is not, you know, like a really tall bottle, but I like it. I also loved, loved, loved this Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturizer. Um, this is very similar to the Body Shop like orange one. These, I would say they're like almost identical and they're about the same price. And I love both of them and they smell so good. They're kind of a gel texture. I don't like a lot of heavy moisturizer on my face. So this is perfect for me. Again, this is actually probably another thing that I'll save up some birch box points for and repurchase eventually, but it's a little more expensive than like a drugstore moisturizer. Um, another thing that I'm just gonna I'm gonna continue to buy, but I found a way to do it for cheaper. Um, I love the Body Shop body butters. I've talked about these in like every single video I've ever made, but the, I use these exclusively. I don't like the body butters from Bath and Body Works or basically like any other brand. The Boots one actually is pretty good from Target. Um, but these smell so good. I love the mango one. But they're like 20 something bucks, maybe $22 or something like that. So never pay full price for them. Um, either wait till they have that sale that's like buy three, get three free, or just get them at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx, which is what I have been doing. They just don't always have like the full selection. You just kind of have to take what you can get. But I love these. I even have another one. This is the Honey Mania. Oh, I love this one. I've never seen it at like Marshalls or anything, unfortunately. So I would have to go back to the body shop to get this one again, but love this one. Um, okay, here's, actually this is not expensive. I could get this again. This is the Garnier Nourishing Cleansing Oil. I've actually tried a couple other brands. Um, I tried the Neutrogena one, and right now I have the Burt's Bees one because I couldn't find this at Rite Aid. I don't know why, maybe they don't carry it. Um, but this one is better than both of those. I really didn't like the Neutrogena one. I don't love the Burt's Bees one that I'm using right now. Um, I need to actually just go get another one of these. It removes your makeup, doesn't irritate your eyes, doesn't, even if it like gets in your eyes a little bit while you're trying to take all that stuff off, it, it still feels fine. So this is my, my favorite cleansing oil that I've tried. What else do we have? Oh, here's another, okay. Some of this stuff is not that expensive. These ones were not. Um, this is the Biore Self-Heating One Minute Mask. I just thought these sounded interesting, thought I would try them. It is interesting. It's like just a little pouch and you squeeze out the mask onto your fingers and put it on your face and it's 
it's warm like immediately I don't really know how that happens so it feels really weird but it does feel like it's like unclogging your pores getting gunk out of there and you only leave it on for like a minute and then you just wash it off so these are kind of cool I don't know if I'll get them again um okay these are amazing I love these I have two of them they're both gone this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Smoothing Balm so it's like a balm foundation and I guess it was kind of a rip off because <laughs> you only get that much so it was like hardly any product so I bought two um, it was sold on QVC and I bought, uh, I went back and repurchased because I loved it so much. Um, it came with this like really dense brush to um, really work it into your skin. They look so natural, so beautiful, but I never saw them at like Sephora or Ulta or anywhere else and now I don't even see them on QVC. I don't know how you can get them again, but if they ever come out with these, Tarte, please continue these and give me a little bit bigger packaging. <laughs> but. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. Another foundation that I love, and <laughs> I'm so sad it's gone, is the NARS Sheer Glow. Oh, this is such a nice foundation. It's not really that sheer. It does give you fairly full coverage, like medium coverage, and it's just beautiful. It has the most beautiful finish. It's an expensive foundation, but it works really, really well. Um, it's kind of illuminating. I don't know. It's just so nice. I used to wear this all the time. I'm in the shade Barcelona. Well, this was a little bit too dark for me. One thing that I do like about NARS foundations is that they tend to be kind of on the yellow side and I'm on the yellow side, so they work well with me. I just wasn't really able to find the exact perfect shade. This one's a little bit dark. I just had to use it in the summertime when I was a little more tan or add it to like lighter foundations that would kind of even it out, but I'm so sad it's gone. I love it, and I don't think I'll be spending this much on foundation anytime soon. <laughs> Let's see what else we got here. Oh, this stuff is great. This is from Target, but um, it's expensive for Target. This is the Pixi Flawless and Poreless Primer. This is a fabulous primer, but it's like $22 at Target. You know, that feels, feels a little expensive. It says pore minimizing, shine free, hydrating, oil free, hypoallergenic, I totally recommend it. It is awesome. If you ever have 22 bucks of room at the end of your Target trip budget, which I never do, but it's so nice. What else do we have here? Oh, um, this is the Etude House Wonder Pore Freshener. It's like a toner. I just prefer one that, that has more going on than this one. I want it to be a little more deep cleansing or a little more um, stripping or something like more like bacteria killing. I kind of like my toners to be pretty strong. This one's very gentle, so if you like gentle toners, this might be for you. It's nice. I think I got it on Amazon. It's a Korean brand. Oh yeah, this stuff was nice too. I think that I got like a travel pack. This is the Saint Tropez One Hour Tan. Um, it's a little bit annoying because you have to like put it on and then wait a couple hours and shower. And so you have to like, that's kind of a hard way to plan your day or like plan your time when you want to have a little fake tan on, but it works super well. I really liked this. It's just expensive. Oh yeah, I love this stuff too. See this bag? It's just full of great stuff. Um, this is the Dr. Bronner's Magic Soap, and you can get this actually like at Marshalls and stuff for pretty cheap. It's at Trader Joe's. It's at Target, I think, too. It's not super expensive. Um, but this is great for washing your makeup brushes. This is how I wash all my makeup brushes. This is the one that smells like almond and it smells super good. It really gets all of the makeup out of your brushes. It works great. I love this stuff. What else do we have in here? Oh, this stuff is great too. Okay, this Suki um, Exfoliating Foaming Cleanser. I got this from Birchbox, I think, as well. Or maybe Amazon. I don't know. One of those two. Okay, this stuff is so weird. It smells like lemon candy. It smells great. And I uh, can't really see in there anymore, but it has like these little, it's kind of like sand. And you put it on your face and start like scrubbing it in. So it really exfoliates. It feels good. It's like sugar. It's like a sugar scrub. And then as you add a little bit of water to it and keep massaging it into your skin, it turns into like a foam or like a cream first, I think. And then like a foam and it just does so much to your skin just you, you just work the same product in for like 
three or four minutes and by the time you're done it feels so so good your skin looks amazing and then you just rinse it off and I love it I may I may have to get some more of this too <laughs> oh this is so good so good I should like save this for last but I'll show you this is the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua it's so it's such a good foundation this is just beautiful it has kind of a scent to it that some people don't like but I love the scent uh, it's just so nice I don't even like know how to explain why it's so good but it makes your skin look gorgeous it's super expensive I think it's like 50 bucks got it from Nordstrom when I had a gift card so I don't know when I will ever buy this again I was in the shade 50 beige actually I think I'm gonna keep this so I can go back and like get the same shade someday when I have a million dollars but it's got sunscreen in it, um, it's just skin perfecting, it's not heavy at all, it's beautiful. If you just want to invest in like one makeup product where you know you have like really nicely set foundation and then you know just maybe use like drugstore products on the rest of your face, I would suggest this would be like your one splurge item because it's awesome. Okay, still a couple other things here. This is the R & Co Death Valley Dry Shampoo. I think I got this in a birch box. Works super well. I really like dry shampoos so I don't have to wash my hair. Um, this is the Liz Earl Skin Repair Moisture Moisturizer. I think I talked about this in my like pregnancy skincare video. This is pretty good. I like the Origins one better. Oh, here it is. I like this one better than this one. This one is heavier though. And then this is like a little bit more lightweight. So if you want a little bit heavier moisturizer, it's still not too heavy though. It's for um, normal to combination skin. And this Liz Earl one is pretty good. Ooh. Okay, actually, did I rebuy some of this? Yeah, I think I repurchased this because it just lasts forever. And you kind of don't like want to use it for three years in a row or whatever. But this is just the NYX eyeshadow base. Um, I got this at Ulta, I think maybe even Target, and this is a fabulous eyeshadow base. Um, it's only a couple bucks, I wanna say like three or four dollars. You just put your finger in there, warm it up, and like tap it on your eye, and this is great. Love this, so I have another one of those. Ah, oh, this I actually did repurchase as well. Um, this was in like the Sephora birthday bag thing, you know, like you go in during the month of your birthday and they give you a little gift. So this is the NARS, it's like a lip pencil, oh, satin lip pencil, and then like Rikujian or something is, is the name of it. And so I ordered this online and I got the full size and I love it. This is the most beautiful color, it's so pretty. There's like nothing else in here, but maybe I can, yeah, a little bit, I can get a little bit on there for you. Love this color, totally like a Your Lips But Better thing you could wear every single day. Such good quality, love it, love it, love it. A few more things in here to quickly go through. Okay, this is a NYX brow pencil. It's trying to copy like the Anastasia brow pencil. It's not as good as the Anastasia one, but it's not terrible either. Benefit Gimme Brow. Love this, actually. Um, in my next birch box, they said that, well, they've like reformulated it. Benefit has reformulated it, so they're sending out samples in the next birch box. Um, and so I picked my color or whatever, so I know it's coming. I love this stuff. It's so fast. It like sets your brows. I don't know why it makes them look so good, but it does. Another brow product. This is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And this is my favorite brow product. Actually, I don't know, those two, those two together are really, really good. So the only thing is that like, I do my brows every day and I have pretty thick eyebrows, so they kind of take a lot of product, so I go through this stuff kind of fast, and it's not cheap. Um, oh, this is cheap, though. This is the, what is it called, CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Waterproof Mascara. I put this on top of more expensive mascaras. Like, I really like the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, but it tends to flake just a little bit. So I do that, and then I put this on top of that, and then it makes it waterproof, but it's still fairly easy to get it off at the end of the day, because I kind of pack on the mascara. And I use this for the bottom lashes too, so it doesn't like smudge as much, but it has a really nice um, wand here, and it just kind of like separates your lashes, coats over other mascara, so I, I'm never without this. 
Oh, I've got a bunch of stuff over here now. These two things, oh yeah, these are really good. Um, I got some like Murad samples. This is a oil control mattifier if you are oily. This works super well. And then this is awesome. This is the Intensive C Radiance Peel. Oh my gosh, this is so good. It's really expensive. Um, I had a facial where they used that on me and it felt amazing. And then they just gave me like this little tiny sample and I used it a couple times. The full size is pretty dang expensive. They carry this at um, Ulta, I think. So I don't know if you've got some points or something like that. Maybe you could use it there. But this is an amazing peel. It feels so good. It's like tingly and it really makes your skin look radiant after you're done. I would love more of this. <laughs> so expensive. I just need like endless amounts of gift cards to Ulta and Sephora and Birchbox. Okay, last couple things are little. This is the L'Oreal Visible Lift Concealer. Um, I don't know if they do it in the same packaging anymore. I bought like five because I loved it so much. So I have a little stock in my drawer and I'm on like my third or fourth one. I really like this um, under my eyes. It does seem to cover my dark circles and kind of give you some brightness and just it works so well. L'Oreal does some pretty good like foundation and concealers. This I also love. This is the L'Oreal, oh again, L'Oreal, um, Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara. This is the weirdest mascara. It just makes your lashes like so long, but look, the little wand is so, so tiny. I don't know why it works so well. It doesn't seem like it would, but it does. It's great. It's super black and super lengthening. And the last thing that I have, I'm so sad that I'm out of this, is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana White. Um, this is the perfume, like the little roller perfume. It smells so good. There's like nothing on here. This is just like a massager at this point. Can I get any scent? Mm, I can still get the tiniest bit of scent out of it. Oh, this smells so good. Go to Sephora and just smell it and like, you know, get a sample or not a sample size, a so roller ball size. Even this is like still what, like 25 bucks, but it smells so good. I love this scent and I want to get the full size, but again, millions of dollars millions of dollars I'm trying to spend here okay so all that really made me want to do is like go repurchase everything and spend a bunch of money that I don't have so I'm gonna have to have some self-control and just throw this out and not think about it anymore but uh, most of this stuff I just totally totally recommend it's so good so you know if you're in the market for something specific you know like a, a new foundation or a new perfume or a new peel mask or whatever um, those are some really really good options or maybe for like a birthday present or something like that don't spend money you don't have but you know maybe sometimes I like to just have a little wish list going in anyway no teacher talk in this video just all things beauty um, I do have a video on tips about how to avoid teacher burnout that will be coming right after this video so keep an eye out for that I feel like it's a pretty important one, you know, maybe a little more important than this, but uh, keep an eye out for that. And I hope you're having a wonderful weekend and I will see you in my next video. Bye.